the Niners named Sam Donald their number two quarterback a day after not naming him the number two quarterback. Like we <laughs> sat there. Kyle was face to face. We were like, do you want to name a, a backup quarterback before the season opener? And he was like, not really. I think I'll do it right before game time. And then we we're like, are you, is it possible? Like you could rotate? And he was like, yeah, I think I'll do something like that. Then today there's a, a leak, a report that no, 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 it's Sam. And they might trade Trey. And then Kyle Shanahan goes on KNBR to clarify what he didn't say the day before, which is wild to me. So the day before, he said, I'm not going to name a backup quarterback until 90 minutes before week one. And I reserve the right to change my mind on who the backup quarterback is every week. Okay? Cut to today. Darnold's the backup. And Kyle goes on KNBR and says that he really hopes that Trey's going to be on the team this year and says, I mean, this isn't a thing where we're giving up on Trey. This is more of how Brock played in his seven games and that was decided before the season started and how Sam's looked. They've both looked good, but we have to make a decision here. They've both looked good, but we have to make a decision here. You only get so many reps at it. We feel starting about 10 days ago, Sam really separated himself and we got to keep it real in that way. I feel very fortunate to have both of them here. I really hope when it's said and done that all three of these guys are here and you never know what's going to come up. We needed four guys last year. It doesn't happen much, but if we can have Trey as an option here, I would feel extremely happy about that. I think the other quarterbacks in our room would and our team would. Trey is a very well-liked guy and one of the better people I've been around, and I do think he's going to have a lot of success in this league. So why are you trading him? It's been a tough road for him because the times he has got an opportunity, he ended up getting hurt and missing that window. We'll always try to do right for Trey. If there's a better situation that's that his heart is in, we're going to sh make sure not to hurt him in that way. So that's something I talked to him about this morning and stuff that I'll talk to him about tonight and continue to talk to him about. Trey knows how I feel about him, and I hope he ends up being able to be here, and that's the best thing for him. But we've got to see what is the best thing from now until then. What do you think? PR spin 101. Grant, I said it. An hour or two before he was even on the radio show, that that was basically what he would say. That here's the way that I see the situation. Trey went to them, requested to to leave, trade, cut, whatever. I, I want out of this situation. Was it, was it after? Was it after Kyle said he wanted to have two backup quarterbacks? I, I believe so. And I so, would like to have a thruple as a backup quarterback. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Kyle, Trey's like, no, absolutely not. <laughs> so no. yeah, he. He goes to him and says, hey, I, I would prefer to get out of this situation. So now the only thing that you can do if you're the 49ers is quickly, before practice starts and everybody sees that Trey's not there, we're announcing quarterback two with Sam Darnold. Ten days Correct. ago, Sam Darnold started to separate. Like literally 15 minutes before practice starts. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That timing oh, matters. Oh, damn. Trey's not here. Let's, yep. let's spin this. Yep. It's not that Trey rejected us it's that we prefer sam darnold yeah it's not that this 10 dumped us it's that we like the seven better sorry for all the sevens in the world <laughs> yeah so so that's number one and number two of course yeah we love trey we want trey to be a part of this team nothing's changed we've always liked trey he just needs reps but we're gonna do right by him that was the most key thing he said because now if they trade him Doing right by him is letting him go. Hey, the the best thing for Trey. Now they end up looking like, listen, it, it wasn't going to work out here. Sam Darnold is clearly the better quarterback. So that's spin number one. Spin number two is the only reason we got rid of him was to do the best thing for him. So now all the way around, the 49ers look like they're good people in a good organization. It's a 100% a PR spin. You can't, can't convince me otherwise. Um. Yeah, so there's a couple. I, I don't like how he keeps being so inconsistent. Like, dude, you're the head coach of a football team. You got to think about what you say. So let's just go back and forth. What he said yesterday, what he said today. Yesterday he said, I'm not going to name a backup quarterback. I'm going to mess around. I'm going to go back and forth. Today he said, you have to make a decision. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't say that yesterday. Okay, so today you say that Sam Darnold separated himself starting 10 days ago. You didn't say that yesterday. I literally asked Kyle Shanahan, how has Sam Donald improved this offseason? He didn't say anything about 10 days ago. He didn't mention that. And so you look, what was 10 days ago? A Raider game. Yeah. What did Kyle Shanahan say before the Raider game? What was more important than the Raider game? 
I don't remember. What did he say? The joint practices were more important than oh, the Raider yeah, game. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. You're right. Yes, yes. So the Raider game is what separated Darnold? And then the practices after that? Dude, he had a one for seven after that. Literally. What are you talking <laughs> yeah, he, about? He started separating what are you talking himself. talking about? Right, right. He didn't separate himself. The whole thing was that it was neck and neck. No one knew. It, everyone who was at practice had a different story. It was even. At best, it was even. Probably yeah. Trey Lance was better because Trey Lance showed highs that Darnold didn't. Right. But you can't say that he separated himself in the last 10 days because of the Raider game. Well, what about what Trey did in the Broncos game? Exactly. What about the fact that when Trey Lance threw his touchdown pass, you had the two starting wide receivers running on the field in excitement for Trey and getting flagged? Doesn't it seem like some people in this locker room kind of are pulling for Trey? I don't know. No not, one ran not on only, the field not when only Sam that, Darnold threw a touchdown pass to Jack Coletto. Not only that, the how was the fan base when Trey came into that game? They were they rocking. standing ovation. Standing ovation. So the that's the you, that's the only option you have is to spin to everybody that Sam Darnold was better. Anybody who's watched, I, I don't care if you were there for practices, if you've watched these games, Sam Darnold has not been better. He just hasn't been better. And if you're looking at this logically, okay, Sam Darnold hasn't been better in practices or the two combined games. He has been in the league longer, which means his upside isn't better. If you play him and get rid of Trey Lance, you're actually going to end up spending more money. So it doesn't make sense from any aspect that you look at this whole thing. And if somehow Sam Darnold rises to the to the top on this whole thing, he's a free agent after this year, which means you now have to pay him big money. No way that you spend this does it make sense that Sam Darnold is your actual QB2 unless... Trey Lance came to you and said, I want out. That's the only thing that makes sense. And the fact that he wasn't at practice, that tells you all you need to know. He requested and I think to Kyle leave. like confirmed it. He's like, I want Trey on the team, but if right. he finds a better situation right. that we're, that his heart's in, then I, we won't deny him that, but our choice is to keep him here. I think he pretty much said it. Yep. So that's our interpretation. Yep. We're going to get to more. We got to uh, go briskly through these Super Chats because there's 2,000 people here. And well, these and I want to say while. this too, Grant. Yeah. I mean, he... Sam Darnold had a one of seven day. He had a day where he went two of five with two dropped interceptions in the red zone. Mm -hmm. Whenever they did move the ball, Trey Lance always moved the ball during the move the ball periods, and Sam Darnold never could. And then yeah. you're seeing it play out in the preseason. Where has Sam Darnold been better? And then this is the other thing. Yeah. People are trying to carry water for the organization and say, well, I could see why they would choose Sam because the Although the ceiling may not be as high, the floor is higher. Oh, okay. Well, let's remember what the floor is for Sam Darnold and start 55. It's 5 of 15, 43 yards passing, two interceptions, and two fumbles that happen to not be lost. That is the floor if Sam Darnold plays. Have we ever seen that floor from Trey Lance no. in any one of his starts? That's what Let people always say. Like, well, with Darnold, he's more consistent. You know what you're going to get. Dog, the last yeah. time he played football which was in 2023, he threw for 30-something yards in a game. In a game. The whole game. Sam Darnold. 